elevatingly framed by the ideally located sea grape suites designed with breezy patios facing the ocean. Or you can cool off in a private pool suite tucked away with your own terraced gardens and personal swimming pool. All our suites are fitted with custom furnishings, fine Italian linen and luxurious amenities. Rejuvenate the body in the 5,000 square foot Janissus Spa under the restorative powers of local herbs and spices. And at the Spice Island Beach Resort, you can savour our international cuisine infused with authentic local and Creole specialties. Experience the wonder of the Caribbean at Grenada's Spice Island Beach Resort. Visit us at www.spiceislandbeachresort.com The Spice Island Beach Resort your next perfect getaway. Together, these are high-class performers that set the standard for fuel efficiency vehicles. At Toyota, we revolutionize the way you drive, whether it's on or off the road. Designed with intelligent safety features, the world-class Toyota Land Cruiser Prado and Hilux mark a new era in luxury vehicles. Together, they're two of a kind. Toyota, moving forward. Welcome back to the Winner's Circle. These are highlights of race day 31, runoff on Saturday the 14th of September at Santa Rosa Park. All races off the turf. So this one too is on the main track, 1,250 meters. Horses rated 60 to 45, a field of eight. Ready? Racing. And a good start for Charming Last, widest of all, also showing good speed, a stable mate Central Square, then a great millennium on the far side is next, then Painted Buddha. After Painted Buddha is Nikita, two and a half lengths back to Naughty and Nice, then a length and a half to the tactician, the favorite, is being held up for a gear change, and the back marker this time is Captive Witness. So that's the entire field as they move past the 900 meter pole in Central Square is the one who leads narrowly. In second spot, Painted Buddha is there. A great millennium is also there together with Charmin Last. That's the top four. The fifth horse is Nikita. Then a couple of lengths back to Naughty and Nice. The technician is starting to find his best rider on the inside and forget about Captive Witness. That's the feel as they come out from the far turn approaching the final 500 meters and Central Square leads. Leads by a length. In second spot is Painted Buddha coming wide. That's Naughty and Nice. Then comes the other one, a great millennium. The favorite, the tactician, is in some problems at this time. The tactician has a mountain to climb with 200 meters to go. Central Square still leads and pulls away from Painted Buddha. Back in third now is a great millennium. The tactician all too late, but it's all about Central Square. Central Square, sharp in victory this afternoon. Wins by a wide margin. Second was Painted Buddha. A comfortable enough win for Central Square by five lengths in the end, so that was easy enough for this horse which was bred out of the Poontip Stud Farm, owned by the York Stables, trained by John O'Brien, this three-year-old by Charismatic Cat out of Honeymoon, which is by Freshly Squeeze. Nice win for Central Square, Painted Buddha, five lengths behind in second spot, the Tactician finished third, and the Great Millennium finished in the fourth spot, there is Mr. Anthony Liotto, affectionately called around racing circles, Float, doing the lead-in. He is, of course, the senior man in the John O'Brien stables, but is himself a licensed trainer and has had quite a bit of success. So, Central Square, the winner of race number seven, the penultimate event on race day 31, winning it comfortably enough um, and uh, continuing. But what we have to say has been a reasonable run on the racing circuit. There's John O'Brien, the trainer, in the picture now, celebrating Central Square's victory. The winning time was 117.1 for this three-year-old coat. The end then of race number seven. And the final event on race day 31 is for horses rated 55 to 40. It's a two-turn event, 1,750 meters. Ready for a start? And away they go. The favorite park man was well away, as well as this is it, and direct injection against the fence on the outside. And Mundo is also showing good speed. Spotted Eagle tracking the top bunch as they move to the first corner with just about 1,500 meters to travel. And this is it. On the outside comes through and it takes up the running from uh, direct injection is also in the firing line together with Parkman spotted eagle against the fence then comes Edmundo that's the top five and they are being followed by Sweetie Jan after Sweetie Jan is Oasis 
that on the inside of Supersonic's arm selection of the back marker is Nandi. That's the feel as they come to the 1,000 meter pole and the leader is This Is It. This Is It leads by three quarters of a length track nicely by Pac-Man. Edmundo on the far side is next in third. Then comes Spotted Eagle. Sweetie John on the far side is next. After Sweetie John is Oasis, then uh, Direct Injection is losing his early pitch as Supersonic goes by. Sam's selection won from last and Nandi continues to see them all. They move up the back stretch, leaving the 800 meter marker behind them. This is it, Leeds, but getting pressure now from Parkman. Parkman comes calling for that top spot, takes up the running narrowly. Edmundo on the far side is next. Then comes Spotted Eagle against the fence. She is traveling well. After Spotted Eagle, direct injection is getting a second win and is starting to run on again in front of uh, Sweetie Jan. They come to the final 500 meters and Parkman, the favorite, leads by a length. In second now is a Spotted Eagle. Then comes direct injection. Edmundo has hoisted that white flag. They turn into the home stretch now. Parkman leads and leads by two lengths. In second spot is direct injection. Then comes Edmundo. Back and forth is Spotted Eagle. But Parkman is striding well clean the hands of Wilma Galvez. Parkman has 150 meters to last as he comes right away from his field to win on challenge in the end. Parkman scores and scores readily. Well, the punters got it right. They installed the Pac-Man's favorite, three to two favorite, won it by four and a half lengths. Another nice win for Wilma Galvez. So he's got two wins on the day's card. Wilma Galvez has no successes today for Brian Boudram Singh, who in fact uh, didn't have too many rides on the day's card. Edmundo got second in third place, direct injection and spotted eagle finished in the fourth spot. The fifth horse was Sweetie Jan. There is the lead-in and the man in the white cap, as I said, the trainer, Lester Alexis. This horse was bred by Zanim Mayor John out in Freeport. It is owned by uh, Mikai D'Souza and uh, is a six-year-old horse by Storm Report out of Celtic Law. Winning time was 154.2, the winner, Pac-Man. And that wraps up the highlights of race day number 31, runoff on the 14th of September. Out at Santa Rosa Park, of course, there is now hungry and eager anticipation for the next race day, which is Derby Day out at Santa Rosa Park. And we'll see you then on the Winner's Circle.